Greetings hobbyists, this is Artisans of Vool, and in this video we're going to have a look at the new Bake Geometry node in Blender 4.1. So I'm doing a short series just having a look at the top features in Blender 4.1, or at least the ones that I'm really enjoying. I wanted to do these as separate videos so they're easier for people to search for, and I'm just going to do a few over the next few days, so if you're not subscribed, hit subscribe and that bell button so that you know when they're coming out. So if I just start a new Geometry node system for this block, Let's zoom in there, shift and A, and then type in bake. We get this bake geometry node. And we can just plug it in, and we've got these options here. You can do this for animations. We're just going to look at this in terms of stills, but they work in the same way. Now, this is going to be irrelevant here because there's no other nodes. But let's talk quickly about what the bake node actually does, because it's really helpful. So the way a geometry node setup works is that whenever anything changes in the geometry node setup, Blender will recalculate everything. So what that means is that effectively it goes to the first node, calculates whatever that node's asking it to do, and then it'll do that for every single one of the other nodes that's part of that geometry node setup, with each calculation taking a bit of time to compute. And what the bake node does is effectively save part of this process to stop Blender doing it again. So for example, if we have a geometry node set up here with a bake node as part of it, it'll calculate everything for that geometry node setup. But once you've selected bake, Blender only needs to calculate the parts that come after it, effectively saving you a lot of time and computing power. So if we have a quick look at an example of this, this is a geometry node setup that I've made that creates a side hatch for a rhino, and then we can add some sort of iconography onto really quickly. All we do, let's just bring up our Blender assets, let's find an icon, we'll just use this one, put that in place there, and then all I need to do is come to my geometry node setup, let's just G and Y that back slightly. Click on the object that we want it to, Boolean together, and then I always set this up with a button so that I can click this and it will do the Boolean. Now the reason I normally have that, we can hide this now, is that it allows me to stop doing that so that I can then move it back around. Because if I bring this object back in, and let's try and G and Z that up, it's gonna be very, very slowed and jumpy because each point geometry nodes is trying to calculate all of those nodes again, so it's just trying to do too much work. So let's just escape out of that. By contrast, if I actually come to that node setup for this, and we, for example, come to the end here, if I bring in a bake node, so just put that in here, and drag that in, what I can now do is click on the bake. You'll see at the bottom that it's saving this bake node and then everything that came before it. And because this is a still, it's only baking one frame. Now, if I come to the object that is part of the Boolean and G and Z that up, there's no delay because it's not trying to recalculate everything that's part of that geometry node setup. It's just stuck with what was there earlier. So I could then come to, let's say here, and that's where I want it to be, maybe a little bit less. And then I can just come back to here, come back to my bake node, and click bake again, and it will recalculate everything at that point. Meaning that moving everything around is a vastly simpler process. And there's loads of other geometry node setup examples where it's got some difficult things to calculate, and you might only want to bake part at a time. So you could do this stage by stage. You could have a bake node part way here, and then another one here, and another one here. So you can do that how you want. Now, the only slight issue I have with this node, which is really frustrating, is that you can't expose the bake option over in your modifier panel. For other things we can, so for example, I've got the icon object, something here that I can click on and switches you can expose, but you can't expose this bake. So I hope they're gonna put in a socket here that's gonna allow you to do that in the future because it'd be really useful to have it over here. But that's the bake node, an amazingly useful tool. And especially if you don't have a particularly powerful computer, it's gonna save you a lot of pain as you're moving things around. And in fact, I actually wish that general Booleans had this as an option so that you can move things and then rebake them later. Hopefully you found that video useful and easy to understand. If you did, please do hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, subscribe for more great videos. And if you wanna support the channel any further, there is a Patreon page for it where for a few dollars a month, you get videos a week ahead of time, ad-free and other great perks as well. Have a great day, guys.